Our journey to Major starts here. Opening game at RMR against OG. I prepared an exclusive look into my thought process during the game, sprinkled with voice comms of the whole team. I hope you'll enjoy the video. So we pulled a little unconventional piss around. B executed with a twist that we had leave a sight and triple wall cave instead. We had a good success with this strategy to practice, but OG played good and aggressive retake and pushed down B ramp. This made me throw my molly prematurely as they put me under pressure because we lost information whether the CDs are defusing or not. In hindsight, I could have just played safe behind the box waiting for my teammates to flank cave, but in the heat of the moment, I slightly panicked and decided to reveal my position. V4 second round, where me and Sense faked A rush in order to pull a rotation and allow us to contest B. But as we were doing a fake, something fell off. We were not seeing anyone from OG playing on A side, and we made a great call to not commit on B before we get some trade frags going over a day. In the end, I forced a duel on Heavy God and also got Nexus off guard. And this round told us the contest how we should play the rest of the game. Have a listen how we managed to communicate this fake of the fly. What did you call it? Who is my Martin? Yeah. I think they're down. They did so much utility. Yeah. But I didn't hear anything. Except. Good. Okay. Yes, we don't see on A. I'm pushing just play, just play, guys. Just chill. Yes, we are playing. Play together. Ray smoked us. Yes, we have A side. Yeah. Should we go back, boys? Just play together. Yeah, play you... together there. Yeah. I'm, a, you, I'm holding it on. Can you freeze it? I'm holding Brookie. Yeah. Yes, we can. Taking City on you, Martin. Yeah. We're we'll going really to able to do anything. Yeah, do it. We'll be behind in time. I'm shaking out of. Dead. Don't attack. Nice. Martin. Should we go back here? One pull. One pull. Oh. Okay, you can. You can. Good. Get up. One damage. That's nice. Martin. I will still have Vegas. One heaven. Keep heaven. Yes. Keep one. Did they see you? No. No, no. I will go into window. We're still chilling okay. on A. Okay, one. Still cave. He went yeah, back let's go, Aiden. I'm We're coming, Aiden. Yeah, just come, mate. Come, come, come. Nice, guys! Nice, nice, shit, guys. nice round, guys. Nice. Very important. Sick. Martin. Let's, let's go! Feel like, oh, nice, guys. I feel like these guys were so like, try hard on like anti strat. They knew we were yeah, gonna yeah. go. They didn't even rule it. They clearly prepared for us on Ancient. They know what we're doing. And they are heavily anti stratting to the point where it looks weird from our point of view. This little hint will play a role throughout the whole match as we keep tweaking our tactics to make them unpredictable and uncomfortable. After exchanging a couple of rounds early, we found ourselves in a bad scenario. Early into the round, we are two men down after Sasanito and Sens fall during our default. We need to create a backup plan to redeem the round and I have one in mind. Credit here goes to our analytics staff and coach who spotted that whenever Regali plays open A, he loves this position. During the round, I came to a conclusion that Regali can afford op and he should be holding A because Kito and Fiku got kill and assist each on the first kill towards B, while Nexus got a second kill with M4A4. But I also heard AK47 spamming mid smoke, so that could only mean that Heavy God, usual A player, is middle. This puzzle leaves Regali holding A with Ope and listen to the comms how I set up this little play that turns the round on its head. Flash Ivan. I'm assuming that they will go back, but, yeah, but we will just go for duels. Listen, I think he will play Ope on A. Yod, I, come, I want you to flash over, okay? A. Yeah, yeah, I will do it. But come inside A min and you will flash through this gap. This I'll, try to, I'll try to pre-fire him in this angle that he yeah. plays. Should I come in as well you want? No, 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 you can stay. You can, Ready uh, whenever. You can flash. Full set. Flashing. Nice. nice. Okay. A pair alive. Because we don't know. I will try to pick a op and play with it. Get out play. Smoke is short yet. Martin, need to do something. A pair alive. We have to go up. Can you go for me? Yes. Wait, I'm Back trying long. to smoke long. One CT. Careful through the smokes. I'm flatting. Nice. 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 Flatting. One long. Hi. Nice. Nice. Last A pair. A pair. I am in the noob corner team. Banana. Coming late. No, he's running up. Uh, running away? Go running for up. it. No, no, close. Not using. I'm playing. Tapped it. Oh, 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 oh. Play by using. Nice. 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 The flash from JCam was a little short, and Regali was in fact not blind. But I still believe that this piece of information and the way I used it won us this extremely tough round and swung the odds back into our favor. 
After this moment, we drop only one round in the first half, effectively running over OG and making sure they don't build any economy. The rest of the half was not really eventful for me personally, so we move on to CT side. Actually, before we move on to CT side, I want to kindly ask for a little favor. If you hit that subscribe and like, it will help my channel grow and make even more and better videos in the future. I promise I will deliver. So now we move on to CT side. Based around works almost flawlessly. Even after a little hiccup in cave with Zeus, we managed to clean up the round on B side. What is important is that Ochi did not manage to plan the C4 so we can expect full eco next round, as Force Buy would put them into economy hell in case they lose it. It's not all shiny all the time, so you got to witness this amazing whip by me. But hey, Nook farmed up so much money with 3 SMG kills, so I guess that was all part of the plan, right? Fortunately, the MP9 ditched them out. Our B aggression early did not net us any advantage, so towards the end of the round, we are in disadvantages B retake. Instead of retaking, we call to do Astralis save. If you watched my previous video from the game against Furia, you already know what this is, so I suggest you check it out here. Here it works to perfection, and we kill every single remaining T, and even though they won a round, they will have to reinvest so much money that we have an economical advantage next round. Need a little concept that work well on maps with huge bomb radius like Ancient or Inferno. For the rest of the hall, Jacob did some magical shooting as he farmed like 9 kills in 2 rounds and we found ourselves at the match point. He's making major moves as he slays with the AK, it's easy pickings for him. 4 frags against the Glocks and Heavy God's wondering where on earth his team's just gone. Playing throughout this entire map so far, consistently good on CT and T side. I believe he just got an ace. He did, mate. OG are constantly hitting that B boom side, which allows me to take a little bit more advanced position in A main, especially with AK. This enables my late round flank potential, which I use in this round, and I run all the way through T spawn. When Jacob dies, I'm in a 1v2 scenario. I know Heavy God has a C4, and if I manage to catch him in the back, I can easily hold the bomb. This is where I decide to run and make audible steps, but I don't see Heavy God anywhere. He just passes the corner and I saw few pixels of his elbow running up ramp to B. I know that the distance between us was small enough that he heard this audible that I made, and there is no point for me to walk anymore because they know my position. I decided to try my luck and then I boom plan with a quick mod lineup in order to buy me more time to rotate through cave, but they plan safe behind default. This gives me clue that at least one of them will play after plan from backlines on B, while the other one will try to stay closer to C4 in case I attempt any smoke defuse. I want to duel in cave and my team gave me information that the regali is low. Now I know I have to gamble and predict, so with my HE, I try to clear along. I did not get a kill, I am hoping that the regali plays somewhere around short or backline, I am basically laser focused on just that spot because the way the bomb is planted and the way I cleared along with my HE. In the end he peeks me and I win the duel and that is how our RMR journey started with a swift and comfortable 13-5 against OG. Oh boy, oh boy. That's the way the cookie crumbles at the end there. Apex locking it down. Masterclass from Steco, some huge performances from the individuals. So I am also preparing more videos from this qualifier for you. So if you watched until now, chances are that you will like my future content as well. To not miss out, that subscribe is just a click away from you. And thank you for supporting the channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.